Hello my beautiful viewers on my channel James Higgins Open World As you can see from the intro <coughs> This is my top 10 places in Cornwall to visit uh, A quick rundown uh, Number 10 Newquay uh, Newquay in Cornwall Newquay in Cornwall uh, As I said that's, that's the main airport in In, uh, in uh, Cornwall uh, a lot of people from Manchester and the north of England do stag do's in, in Newquay and this, that and the other. You know, it's a big surfing place. Quite a few massive, famous worldwide for surfing. The biggest surfing place in the UK for surfing, Newquay. Uh, so also B&Bs, good hotels and all the rest of it. But to me, you know me, I'm honest. I like to give honest reviews of stuff. But to me, the Newquay has got a feel... Even though it hasn't got a fairground, it's got a bit of a feel to me personally, a Blackpool. <clears throat> you know, slight. It's like it's, it's like it's like two it's like two sides of a coin really. It's got a feel of Blackpool, and then on the other hand, it's got all this surfing as well. It's got World Championships and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and it's got just outside Newquay as well. There's a Crantock with a beautiful little beach as well. So uh, what I'm going to do now. So that's number 10. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, put a few pictures of new key so you can see it and then I'll come back and we'll get to number 9. I'll come back. Number 9. <clears throat> right by new key, you've got the Eden Project. Which is just amazing. It's a garden under a big dome and that and stuff. Big domes and stuff. Uh, in Cornwall. And it's beautiful. The Eden Project. So that's just out, that's not far from Newquay as well. You get a bus to it there and back. Uh, you get these tickets for it and everything. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So I'll check that out as well. So what I'll do now is I'll put a picture of the Eden Project in as well. And we'll come back. Right, welcome back. Well, that's the Eden Project as you've just seen. Beautiful, isn't it? I've uh, been there many times. <coughs> uh, what else? Uh, just one second. <coughs> uh, right, there's the Shipwreck and Treasure Museum. Uh, Key Road, Charlestown, St. Louis, of Cornwall as well. That's an amazing little place as well. The museum is amazing. They even had, uh, must have been a replica of the, the Titanic Museum there. Still on apparently, according to it, uh, where they've got a replica of Rose's uh, diamond, that that part of the ocean thing. So that's well worth a visit. Highly recommended. Yeah, and what have you. So that's number number eight in Cornwall. Just one second. Hello. Also, this is number seven now. You got the world famous Jamaica Inn. Uh, with Daphne de, de Morney, who wrote a book about it as well. Uh, there's, there's a online shop, museums, Daphne de Morney, history. You've got murder mystery events. You've got ghost tours. It's a hotel as well. Uh, Cornwall's most famous smuggling in, uh, Jamaica in. It's amazing. I'll show you a picture of it in a minute. Here we go. Right, just one second, and we'll come back. That's number seven. Right, uh, just one second and we'll get to number six. Right, we've got Truro. Truro uh, is a city in Cornwall. Uh, it's got the cathedral and everything like that. It's the main hub for Cornwall with the buses and everything. Uh, and Truro is where this channel started, as I've said before. The channel, this channel uh, sort of started on Facebook, but it started in Cornwall, at True Road bus station. I did a few videos, uh, put them on Facebook, and it so the seed of this whole channel started in Cornwall. So massive thumbs up to everybody in Cornwall. But True Road is where this channel, the seed of this channel started. So a massive thank you to all the people of True Road in Cornwall. Thank you very much. Uh, that's the seed of this channel. But it's beautiful. Uh, 
good shopping places, uh, good taxi links, uh, good food, good hotels. It's amazing, it's a real hub. Uh, so that's true, Uh That's number six. All right, just one second. Number five is Hale. Hale is beautiful. It's a massive, big estuary. Uh, and what have you, it's an amazing place, Hale is. Amazing. It's uh reminds, reminds me a bit of where I live. Uh, where, obviously, I won't say where, but where I live. Uh, yeah, it's a beautiful place, Hale. Massive, big estuary, nice walks. Uh, uh, I think the best B and B in Cornwall uh, at the Mad Hatter Tea Room in Hale. Uh, the owner Pauline and Ellis, uh, and uh, yeah, it's the Mad Hatter Tea Room in Hale. I'll show you. I'll, in a minute, I'll, I'll put a picture of it. And uh, but that is, oh yeah, best B and B in Cornwall. Massive thumbs up to Pauline, who is an absolute lady. There's no two ways about it. Uh, best B and B in Cornwall, so I'm, I'm concerned. Uh, in Hale, uh, pasties. It's it's got the lot. It's beautiful, beautiful, and it's right on the bus route as well. And also in Hale, you've got Saint Ives Bay Holiday Park. Uh, as you're as you're coming into Hale, you you starting to go out of Hale on the the road to Truro. You will pass uh, Little, and you've got this massive road. Uh, little on your right and at the top of that road there is St. Ives Bay Holiday Park now St. Ives Bay Holiday Park is just amazing yeah in Hale bloody amazing that place bloody amazing it's got uh, it's got a swimming pool it's got caravans it's got hookups tents it's uh, got a big massive uh, place where you can have something to eat like a conservatory uh, Chalets, caravans, uh, houses, it's got the lot. It's got uh, free entertainment at night. Uh, it's got a big see through bar where, where you can see like St. Ives in the corner and St. Ives better hope than that on the bay. And you see the sunset right in front of you up there with like pirate ship thing for the kids, pool tables, uh, surfing. Uh, it's got everything, it's got everything. It's awesome. So that's a big plug for them as well. St. Ives Bay Holiday Park in Hale in Cornwall. Up on top of the hill there. Fantastic. And so that is... Uh, that's Hale, number Come back. Uh, number four is Land's End in Cornwall. Uh, the Land's End Hotel is just amazing. Uh, the attractions are just amazing. The whole place is just amazing, Land's End. It really is. Uh, you got a beautiful walk down to Zenith Cove as well from there. Uh, it's beautiful, beautiful. And the best... Uh, some of the best ice cream as well they have there as well. And lots of attractions and stuff. I've actually stayed at the Land's End Hotel one year. Overnight. Beautiful. Beautiful it is. Beautiful. You can see long ships and uh, they reckon on a good day you can see the Isles of Silly. So there you go. That's uh, Land's End. Uh, number four. Number three is Penzance. It's an ama amazing place, Penzance. Uh, 
you can see uh, St. Michael's Mount, uh, a big bus thing there, it's the pirates, everything about it. It's an amazing Penzance, a uh, lovely place. Uh, been there many a time. Uh, so that is number three, Penzance. So you should check that out as well, Penzance. Another beautiful place in Cornwall as well. Right, one second, uh, then we'll get to the last two. Welcome back. Uh, number two is St Ives. What a beautiful town St Ives is. It's, oh, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. St Ives is. Uh, and some of the film, the uh, Rage of Titanic was filmed there as well. Oh, it's a beautiful place, St Ives is. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful restaurants, hotels, uh, trips out on the boats. It's beautiful. Uh, so that is number two, St Ives. Just one second, I'll show you a picture. Well, here we are. The number one place, uh, I think, in, in Cornwall is the Isles of Scilly, uh, 28 miles off Land's End. England's only a subtropical environment. Whoa, that place is amazing. I've been three times. First time I went was, I think it was 2001, I flew over on the helicopter from uh, Penzance. So I stayed on there three days, amazing. And I've been two trips on the boat. Uh, a little tip as well. If you get the, the Cornishman, sometimes you can get half price tickets for the boat, which takes two and a half hours from Penzance, and then four hours on St. Mary's, and then two and a half back. Yeah, uh, you can get our price tickets there, so that's a good little thing as well. So, yeah, as the silly is the number one place. It's England's only subtropical environment, but I love Cornwall, full stop. So you, there you go. You have my ten favourite places in Cornwall here on James Higgins Open World, the channel of the future, right here, right now. See you on the next one.